creation for teachers so the first thing you need to do is you need to click on this menu on the top left corner go to your drive and then you can check either my own drive or shared drive uh, both will work and then you click on the open once you click on the open the course uh, then you will see that uh, you need to obviously go to the edit mode this is something that uh, will probably catch you by surprise so you need to take note that it must be in the edit mode then after that you can then uh, go to the gamification and then uh, the gamification would by default this is off so you need to turn it on this is the, the very first step that you must do you need to look at the details in the various tabs uh, so this details are already all pre um, filled because I have taken some time to, to fill it up first so that uh, you can see that uh, this is the title the description and the featured images so you can check on the, the different sizes if you need let me just for demonstration purposes remove this background and upload a copyright free uh, animated GIF that I made uh, as an illustration so there are recommended dimensions so if you do not follow the recommended dimensions it will be cropped into the the ratio of 2 is to 1 okay so it looks like it can it can take the animated GIF as the background achievement so these are meant to motivate your students uh, if you can customize them but if you find all this a bit too difficult and tricky then uh, I would recommend it leaving it out as the 40 XP and level this XP and level was again I would think that uh, it is good to leave it as the default so one mark is converted to 50 experience point if the students were to submit the lesson at least one day before the section due date then they will get a multiplier of uh, 1.5 uh, which is 50% more if they were to do the quiz submission after the section due date then they will be penalized to 50% and, and, and so forth so available XP after each entry is also reduced oh. so this is the progress level again I recommend using the, the, the default values of base XP base means the bottom the, the big the, the level one then after that it increment by how much so let's say it increment by uh, by of course this is by 200 you know and then you can see the, the difference la. Oh. so this is the base then uh, increment so if the increment is uh, 200 so it will keep on increasing by 200 but if you increase this by let's say 10 then you will first be 200 then it will be increased by uh, increasing value of another 10 so it's like to mimic some of this gamification where higher levels are harder to achieve la. so but i do recommend using the default la, for ease of uh, implementation so game story again uh, there are some uh, things to take note of so there are ways that you can add so there is actually three game stories that has already been pre-added so this is the first stumble first stumble will probably like mean something like uh, you know the first time you you enter the the section of the course you know then uh, to go back you need to click on this back you cannot close this one you must click on the back and then you can see that to see to add or to edit the conditions then uh, you click on this pencil and then you can see that when the game story appears when the section a or uh, appear starts when, when it starts then this this game story or, or pop-up will appear la, for the students to enjoy the animated uh, pop-up so likewise uh, you, there are other conditions like maybe say when the numbers the section a is completed then another game story will appear and uh, you can see that um, these are the default icons uh, like we say these are the default icons for game story and uh, lastly one step closer so when section B starts then you can have another uh, pop-up like a game story to excite the student so these are various features that you can try when you do a game story so I'm just going to demo how you do a game story so you can do your own and then add the description and then add the, the base image but I recommend not adding a base image i think you you need time to figure out 
after you add the game story, then you have to add the condition because without a condition, the game story cannot be triggered. So there are different ways of which the section starts, section completion, marks awarded. So there are, there are many, many uh, options for you to choose. So again, I, I cannot uh, explain uh, one by one, but uh, the, the words are self-explanatory. Like we already seen section start, section completed. So if the awarded marks for the quiz, so for a particular quiz that you have in the in the in the course, if it is let's say fifty percent, zero percent, you know, then then it will it will um, give the game story la. So if you want to make it a bit harder, more challenging, then maybe set it to seventy five. Then of course, if you want to, uh, so that the particular um, quiz is uh, it only appears in some of these. So you need to intelligently select. The correct one so let's say two la, oh, and then save so these are some of the things that you can try and I, my recommendation is just leave it blank by default la, and just do the xp and level i think it's already very it's a very well gamified experience really but these are just additional stuff that you can further customize uh, achievement is the same thing um, there, there's this thing called condition to to allow you to like quickly browse through what are the uh, those without condition so if, if it's without condition then you must come and quickly go and add lah, because without condition the the awards cannot appear so for example there's a reward station let me see the edits so there's a reward station uh, try to use uh, um, copyright free uh, images uh, the best is those that you create yourself uh, then if you want to hide the achievement from the student so if you select yes then it will be hidden from the student and then uh, to add the condition then you must come here so it says here the achievement will be awarded and after all conditions are fulfilled lah. so you must select the condition and then maybe say uh, again it's up to you to select again it's the same uh, one two three four five six options that you can play with la. so i'm not going to explain every single thing again because i explain this section start section complete you know uh, marks awarded by quiz already explained just now so let's say let's say uh, appearance of a game story you also want to give a uh, additional um, achievement then you can also select this game story achievement of course is achievement on itself and then level is when the experience point when the students gain extra level then you also want to have extra so there's one thing that um, you need to figure out is uh, in the in the achievement the conditions will have uh, additional achievement but in the game story you won't see um, you won't see achievement here uh, so just take note that achievement is only available in achievements and game story cannot have achievements it's, it's probably a, a game design kind of an idea you try to do the course now you can't edit it you can't interact with it as a, like a student you you see the answers and all that you're in the teacher view mode so you need to come here then select preview as students so if you preview a student you can see that now the gamification has the marks uh, 0 out of 200 uh, then after that there's this thing that moves as you move as you get the answer correct so let's say we try a few of the questions here so assuming that you got it correct then uh, because remember the 50 points is the one mark gives 50 xp so it will pop up and then it will then move this indicator and then the level will obviously remain as one and then 50 points because to to reach level 2 you need 200 points so it's 550 out of 200 okay so let's try this one uh, so uh, what are the options so this is uh, click and drop so uh, one whole numbers 30 and then uh, 100 okay so let's say you purposely get it wrong I, I, I try to see whether I can get it purposely wrong or not okay you get it purposely wrong so the some of the behaviors uh, that you should know about is when the student clicks submit the while the scores are indicated as correct so by right you should get uh, four out of the six marks the system doesn't trigger the gamification scoring because the students 
if you have designed it such that uh, you can have multiple tries then you can click try again so if you try again then now you can see that uh, SLS by default remembers those that are correct which is a good thing and then now you can select uh, correctly let's say so correctly okay and then now you select correctly you submit again okay and now you can see that uh, the, the level 2 has been has been awarded because of the six marks here six marks here but if, let's say there is a um, there's a the penalty for second tries and all that so I think there's a multiplier of 0.75 so these are the little things that uh, you may be wondering uh, as you try so if the students were to do it correctly so I six marks but because of the second try there's actually a 0.75 multiply which was pop up just now uh. okay so and, and so forth uh. so uh, if you were to let me see let me try to complete this to show you some of the screens okay so call okay 50 okay let's move on so this is the reward station uh. so you can see the animated gif which i added and then the icon here so this is like a, a reward uh, no? is to gamify the experience in the course so let's say we continue uh, let me try to uh, complete this thing uh, just bear with me for a while which of these is an integer so let's assume that the answer is correct okay 50 points nothing surprising i'm just trying to finish up the even then you, have, you can see a, a avalanche of a, a level increase because it's 500 x 500 uh, xp points so now i'm level five with this particular marks then remember we had a section uh, end so let me try to trigger the section end so uh, okay so okay i got one wrong okay so this is five marks uh, which i got one wrong so the answer should be should be four correct lah. so i will try again then you will see that this has a multiplying effect lah, that the you know because of the penalty that i've set smallest integer i think is uh, is it not one or minus five okay So you need for so you just have to take note that for progressive quiz, you need to click next and then submit. Then the the gamification counter will then be tabulated. So these are some of the things. So now you're level six. Okay, you see the XP is different. The screens is, is at the end of the section end and so forth. So I have uh, demoed some of this. So you can keep on going and then the, the students will see that they in the end become how high and all that so this is the some of the screens that a student can see so this is the again we, we said before if they are early there's a bonus date the question we try 0 0.75 this is the one that we talk about lah, where if you do if you set your questions to allow retries then there will be a penalty of uh, a multiply of 0 0.75 lah. you cannot you can edit all this but um, this is the default values lah. Okay, then a game story and then achievements.